Welcome in to the Maelstrom. That's right, folks. It's another week. More wrestling going on, and we are live from the Maelstrom Discord. It is Saturday. It is hot. And there is a lot of wrestling going on. We got a lot of action ready to go in the next two ish hours. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting into it. The biggest update since the last week is the following. Now that the belts are in play, the first of the belts are in play. With the first belt in play, the choice system has come into play, which means the various teams need to work together in order to collect the belts. And they use those match picks in order to attempt to garner those belts. For each belt that you have, you get an additional match pick. Some people, some of the teams are using it to debut new talent. Some of some of the teams are using it to go after the uh, after the current existing belt. A lot of lots of things to do. There's going to be more belts brought in uh, over time. There will be three belts concurrently running at the same time for you to operate with. That's three match picks that are up for grabs. Who's going to get them? Who knows? But right now, the match picks belong to Order and Balance. But I think it's about time to go ahead and get this show on the road because somebody is about to get hurt real bad in the first match pick. In an unsanctioned fight. That's right, folks. Nobody determined why Zator and Thorn need to have an unsanctioned fight. But they're going to go until one can't go anymore. And it'd probably help if our camera crew turned on the audio for the match. Thorn the first going for a weapon. Although we do know that Zator is absolutely nefarious whenever it comes to weapons. Although he misses with that crossbody. Going for a power bomb, however, Zator counters it. Well done. 
Springboard into a reverse DDT. Very nice. Picking up the Kendo Sick once again. Apparently there's an official statement from Team Balance stating we of Team Balance have determined that Thorne and Zator have some unresolved issues to work out. I wonder if that comes from some trouble happening at Al Me. Interesting. Travis, ain't that a thing? Even when Colin wins, you lose. Calypso, enjoy your uh, strip of unbearably spicy jerky. No, well, as they say, just fireball, right? Zator trying to bring in a chair. Didn't quite work as he expected it to, and that chair went flying. Looks like he might have tried for another firewall punch there. Oh, ah, yeah. yes. Practical test. Bye! 
my god! The divine touch! Unfortunately, the AI will never let that move fully go off. True shame, honestly. Indeed. A standing leapfrog, now that's impressive. How fair are you today? Hiya. My fair surprisingly all right, considering everything tried to explode earlier. Mm -hmm. Now, how so? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. Government found out I was making stuff I shouldn't do. We won't say which government. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't help but mm -hmm. notice we had the issues with the uh, with the goo penguins last night, right? Yes. Why is the penguin in the commentary booth? I think it followed me in. You led it to the commentary booth. I mean, to be fair, this one is slightly less gooey than the other ones. Thankfully so. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Zator. Leave it to a Weezard to finish it with a fireball. Weezard. I love that polite little wave at the end. Cheeky little ass wave right there. Now to see if we get a uh, VOD muted for this. Ah, uh, 50 50. We'll see. I have a weird question for you, Bob. What's that? Yeah. Are the arena sponsors... Uh-huh. A, ...a global game thing, or is it just JC having fun with it? It's more of JC uh, having fun with it. Beautiful. I mean, the sponsors of the arena are the entities of order, balance, and chaos. Fair. Yeah, Gravy, uh, Gravy made an interesting choice for a pick. I think this is, this was his second choice because of, um, I think he chose a Berserk theme originally. Yeah, and you'd probably get nailed for that real hard. Yeah. Then again, I get nailed hard for a lot of things. <sighs> That's the way the rule of Bob goes. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, I have learned a lot of things about the way that tag teams work in uh, in this particular game. Oh, did you have difficulties last night with uh, the other suggestion? I had some difficulties with some uh, suggestions. Ah. The interesting thing is, a male character and a female character cannot be in a tag team by themselves. You have to throw in a third character. That's weird. I can, un I can kind of understand why, but it's still weird. On top of that, you can't be in two tag teams at the same time. Ah, it's a shame. So, I had to get creative. Beautiful.
I think that that limitation would specifically be uh, be for preventing um, someone from forcing a mixed tag team into a standard tag team match there, Kelly. Which, again, I don't understand why 2K and WWE has a stick up their ass about general combat. Oh. How heavy is Hildo Tangens? Fairly heavy. I think he's like a tiny, like, super heavyweight or something. Good lord. Which, to me, is hilarious for several reasons. One of them being his size. Oh, for the can't be in two tag teams is a weird one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that is weird. Because, Lord, I remember back before ta uh, 2K took over, you could, have, you could be in, like, four different tag teams at the same time. Mm -hmm. I have a character yeah. on a different show called okay. Apple a Day. He is... Maximum height, maximum weight, but he is a cruiserweight. And his stats are also 69 across the board. Yep. He was meant to be a joke, but for some reason, somehow, some way, he actually wins matches. Through sheer tenacity and rules of Bob. These are some good ass french fries. I actually got off of my ass and I cleaned out and I um I cleaned my fryer. I don't know what happened, but something happened with the oil where anytime I fry I try to fry something, it overflows immediately. So that I, is... I think there was like I think like ice got into it at some point, so uh, the water and the oil were mixing. So, how long has the oil in the fryer been sitting? Previously? A few years. Yeah. yeah, technically anything longer than about two, three months you're supposed to change it. Mm -hmm. So I changed it, strained it, changed it. And I've been cooking with it. So I take, I get like this giant $6 bag of fries. Like five pounds. Creatures and meat concepts and constructs. Your winner is gravy. You were saying? And I just, I cook on it for like, I grab like a couple handfuls at a time. And then I just cook it for a meal. Oh yeah. You know, Bob, you need an air fryer. I do. No, no. Kayef, don't you fucking dare. I know what you're doing. I, I smell the setup. Don't you fucking dare. It, I realized it a second after I agreed that you were setting me up. Fuck off. Just for that, I'm going to end up forced losing this one, aren't I? <laughs> Never know. Better, better be careful. And hope it, hope that Van, Th Van Theo doesn't punch fuck your boy hole. Because that's the thing that, hello, Sean, that Sean will do. Speaking of uh, shilling, hello, JC. Hello. I have arrived just in time to see best boy Van Theo. You arrived just in time to see Flashbang. Ah, and not the wrestling show on Friday nights. So Bob, what have you thought of who wants to be a sword thing so far? I have not had the opportunity to check it out yet. Ah, good. I streamed for like 10, 11 hours last night. Then I went to bed. I have, 
I have uh, most, I believe, of the player base of the Maelstrom who wants me dead now. I started off with a riddle, uh, and that is the, the baseline for entering the next phase of the game show. If you can't beat the riddle, you can't move forward, and no one can share their answer. Ah, uh, yes, I remember Kaya talking about that last night. I was answering them out loud in character. I don't know what everyone else's problem was. <laughs> oh, JC, I have news for you. What's that? A friend of mine who is a VTuber. Wow. Oh. I know that's a loaded that's a loaded statement right off the bat. <laughs> Continue. A friend of mine who is a VTuber has made a comment in passing that he wants to make for himself a an intro to his stream akin to Death Battle. Oh, interesting. Where where he would go and introduce like there would be uh, like a narration that would voice over and basically talk about his history, talk about his abilities, talk about his capabilities. And it would basically end up asking if uh, if you could defeat the prince in, in a combat. If you could smash the prince or if you could smash the prince. Ah, I see. Yes. So, I told said buddy that I might know a few guys that yeah. might be able to... That might potentially... Uh, have capabilities of what he's looking for. And I proceeded to yeet at him a number of, uh, a number of good beans, uh, pieces of information and work that they've done to see if he's interested. Marvelous. He said, well, I... he, he told me that he has no problems throwing money at his artists. I do like money. Mm hmm you were uh, you were number two in in the voice actor section. I shall happily take a nice silver medal there. I I straight up gave him your website. Oh, marvelous! Well, then I will look forward to potentially. Sharing. Yeah, I I gave him. Let's see. For voiceover, I gave him three voice actors. I gave him two uh, graphic artists, two editors, uh... I love the way Montiel talks. Yeah. I gave him, for voice actors, I gave him Arkolf, I gave him yeah. you, and I gave him Travis. Because y'all three are the most talented fuckers in the community. For graphic designers, I gave Matrix and Rosso. Makes sense, yeah. Editors, I gave uh, Rosso and Travis. So basically, Arkoff, JC, Travis, Matrix, and Rosso were my handpicked for uh, for this uh, particular project. And if he likes any of you, we'll see about getting you uh, getting you. Uh, a little bit of extra money in your pocket. I mean, if any, anyone deserves a little extra money in their pocket, it's JC. Also, I mean, the I man have, uh, went toe to toe with Baron Corbin to try to get my theme back from him. <laughs> That's right. He said, "Listen, I need it." He said, "Who are you?" I said, "I." Also, I have returned from playing a game called Orc Forge. Ooh. It was very fun. Was it very orky? Oh, it was extremely orky. Sure. Uh, JC, I'm not sure what it is, but you're very quiet on my end. I'm not sure if anyone else has Oh, had here it. we go. I had, I had turned down my game uh, due to not wanting to deafen my players as I was going full 40k orc on them. So what you're saying is your gains are too much. Yes, my gains were just too much. I had to reduce them. Ah. 
How did it feel frustrating the players earlier? We <laughs> uh, it was both hilarious, but also uh, a bit like poking several sleeping lions. I'm like, oh, come on, I need to, at least some of you to start getting this, otherwise people are going to start hunting me for blood. I mean, to be fair, I got it in three. However, because the translations and language are weird. Yes. It also does not help when the one of the few people that have gotten it is a lizard that doesn't speak the language. Because then people are like, that's useless to me. Stop. I know. Which is why I was answering the way... Oof! Answering the way I was. I yeah. didn't realize I had that fucking shot on Yig. Come on, Ron Theo. Keep the funny wind train going. Damn, just slapped the taste huh? out of his mouth. My bet's on Yig. I mean, Not it entirely depends on Not how much the second damage... best politician in the maelstrom. Yeah. Isn't that, uh, what is it? Apple, bar Apple Barrel? Oh, Apple Bottom? Henry Schnapple. Henry Schnapple. Of the, of the Brosberg Snap. <laughs> of the Bros... Brosberg Schnapples. Lord, that's a tongue twister. They seem even I've heard that. of him to some degree, even if I can't get the name right. Yes. Well, we're going to have to have a competition between Henry Schnapple, uh, Sean's character, and uh, Travis's new character. Yes. No. Oh, hi there. Hello. Oh, you know what? It's just such an honor to be involved with you fine folks there. Can I have your vote? As, as long as Harry Manbeck doesn't get involved retriever. in this shit. He's enjoying his gig in New Vegas, by the way. That's good. Yeah. And meanwhile, in Orkborg, uh, poor Jinji got mauled by a uh, by a gene stealer for half his health. Sounds I mean, right. half your health isn't that much, is it? Yeah. No, it was not. He had seven health, and it dealt four damage. Do I need to tell you about massive damage rules that I've had to take into play twice on my game so far? Ah. Uh, but did he crump it harder? Uh, he, he crumped one harder, at least. Uh, he discovered that he actually had more bullets in his gun than singular, than just one. He was just throwing away the entire magazine on, <laughs> for the rest of the times. By God, it's the Genissary Sling! No. That damn not the Genissary Sling. Yes, no, I have learned that I, on Warzone, I have gained the new title of uh, all my moves. Uh, Max's old title of all my moves are now the Janissary Sling. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh... Uh-oh, here also, it comes. Uh, JC, for your idea, the idea yes. is sound, but the uh, item in question will not work. And I love... Oh, yeah. And Vantheo just returns the favor and smacks the taste out yeah. of Yig. Yeah. Oh, all right, Vantheo. Put him down. Ah, oh, what a fight. It's an interesting idea. I will have to be kind of Johnny on the spot whenever it comes to when it gets pulled. So yeah. I can, so if it is a usable one, it gets removed from the pool. Mm-hmm. So that way people don't get it again. Yeah, because I've got like seven people that have alchemy jugs that make nothing but chocolate pudding. Ah, what have you done? Also, looking over the uh, the gold that everyone has gotten, there's no way we can introduce the gold into the maelstrom. Well, yeah, no. no, what I was thinking about that is like one one hundredth or one one thousandth at the end of the month. Yeah, we yeah. might. Yeah, we, the one one thousandth could could probably. Work. Because then that at least equates like, you know, 15 gold or something. Yeah, that Rosa will get like 18 gold at the end of the month. Yeah, I, guess, uh, I think more that like good More like 20? Because I got like 20,000? Mm. Oh, Montiel is already I do getting enjoy out of the ring. that every time they've rolled, one of them has rolled out of the ring, the other one's just immediately gone out of the ring as well. Yeah. Oh, two knees. 
Yes, he does have two knees. It goes well with his two legs. Poor Thorin isn't so lucky. Kelly, why? I love that wind-up punch. It looks so silly. Oh, it does. It's great. So, JC, you will be interested to find out that yes. we I was playing Pacific uh, Drive last night. Okay. And we were in some of the, the deepest sections of the game, the most difficult sections of the game. There's an I, there's a creature called a uh, I think it's like a burping barnacle or what have you, and it spews out these globs of green goo. Okay. There's a burping barbecue barnacle and there's sicky Mickey. Yeah. Sicky I see. Mickey. So it spews out one of the rotten eggs, which is the uh, which the anomaly is called, is a glob of goo that explodes when you get nearby. I see. It took the shape of a fucking penguin. No. That's real funny. It had a beak, a prominent head, eye holes, and everything. That is extremely funny. The penguin Morris. follows all. What type of wrestler is Van Theo out of curiosity? I think I made him a striker. I don't know, honestly. Which means he probably goes for what? The head and the body the most? Uh, I did have him target the head the most, yeah. Okay, so mm, this is interesting I because. You I changed all of his moves uh, to make it only like head targeting punches. Because I thought it would be funny. Yeah. Which I've done that to another wrestler and he does it hilariously. Oh, no, there goes the fingers. Then Theo can only count to nine. Quick, remove the, the ref's fingers. I need him to only count to two. I mean, that can be handled. Yeah. So, I, in testing, Gig went after, I think it was Ash's fingers, so often in the match that he basically was just a nub on one <laughs> hand. It's a good thing that the fingers regenerate. Yes. Uh, Callie, you posted that in the wrong area. Oh, you, yeah. Callie, you posted that in VIP land. I see. Van Theo is going for his special. <laughs> the count out. Yeah. Well, I got you. Uh, the problem, uh, as to the original idea that you had, uh, JC, the, the problem is, I made that without realizing that it was one of the three that was already taken. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, just don't mind the bubble, I did make a trinket with Dean. Ah, thank you. I'm surprised that knee landed. That knee never lands. I owe two trinkets right now. Uh, back into the creeping rot. End of the swamps with Van, Van Theo. Ah. And he taps. Creatures so and beast concept and conflicts. So Your winner, Yigha Keki. Yep, there's the hair. Ooh, seashells. Seashells are great. You can use them for all sorts of things. I have uncovered an item that I think you would very much enjoy, JC. Yeah. It is a snow globe. Yeah. But inside of the snow globe lives a 
inside of a snow globe lives a small lives a tiny kobold in his family. Ah, marvelous. Human Mississippi, oh. please don't shake us. We're nice I and safe in here, and I have crops. Shake it, shake it. I'm still very pleased with all the fuckery we did to get Yig to look like he was properly scaled. Yeah, that one, it does look good. He looks like a proper, proper little, uh, you know what, he looks like Mezagog. Like Nezig? No, Mezagog, yeah, look. Okay. Don't worry, Ooh, it's a, Bob. It's, <laughs> it's slightly. Slightly, but that was going to be a little bit louder. Oh, no. It's amplified by 0 0.001 decibels. Ah, good. Now it's time for me to do my thing. I like normal man, normal man, normal man. Different art style entirely. And this bitch is floating. Now, normal guy, normal guy, normal guy. This bitch st is still uh, 2D because he mailed himself five minutes ago. That's right. I flattened myself, and now I can go anywhere. I am Flat Stanley. I know exactly what happened. He was standing beside one of the doors in the arena when he came barreling through it, and he's just been flat ever since. Yeah. What is this, as, Toontown? As Kelly said, oh my goodness. Lucius is an anime. Lucius is an anime? Lucius is an anime. Doki Magica? What? Yes, clearly. Yeah. You know, speaking of Yig, when I thought of like Yig and Zator speaking to each other, I always kind of imagined them being like at the same height. Clearly Yig. I was wrong. <laughs> So, Yig will go down to the level of whoever he's talking to. That said, without the tail, he's six foot six. With the tail, he's only six foot. Yes, yeah, so it's always half that. Yeah. Then, uh, Yig must be having a very interesting time in a house full of creatures that are like three feet tall. Oh, yes, no. Wait, Stein's only three feet tall? I, I, I'm, I mean, have you seen Kia's game in Vizmind at the moment? Oh, are you are you hanging out with the uh, the Ghost Tricks? I, I am hanging out with the Ghost Tricks. He's delivering a... Um, he delivered a crate of tomatoes to Alucard. There was a request made of the Wayfinder, and the Wayfinder honors his uh, contracts. Yeah, well, these things are all very tight. He, he also brought three uh, unknown recruits into the ghost trick house and just told them, whatever you do, don't draw weapons, go in there. <laughs> your, your job is to go in there and then come back to me. I do like the ghost tricks, they're adorable. They didn't come back out. Oh, no. I mean, one of them came back out. Yeah, but they were being carried by Stein. Yeah. Oh, no. So they got inside, and as they were walking down down the main uh, hallway into the foyer, they were pincered by Lantern and Spectre, and then they were herded into the main foyer where Witch and Yuki Ona was waiting for them. Oh, no. Yuki Ona froze them, Witch paralyzed them, and then they were just picked up and carried off by three different ghost tricks. One had a sense of humor. Two are still screaming. Poor boy. Granted, it's a lot better of a reaction that uh, than what Yig had the first time that he showed up. So Yig doesn't have a flight reflex. Yig gets angry. <laughs> He puffed up to almost, he tried to puff up the devil in his size and practically started foaming at the mouth. Wow. 
Somebody disappeared from the call. Uh, oh, yeah. Rosel. Uh, Rosel. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. I will say I love Denny. Oh, Denny is yeah. great. Denny is fun. Denny currently has an elf looking for him. I mean, was he looking for a mirror earlier? Like, there's a lot of characters that I've loved since the Maelstrom started. Also, we're almost at a year, by the way. Oh, wow. Really? We started in September of last year. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if we if we keep going at this rate, around Mark... Yeah, because what, the previous Maelstrom ran for about two years, yeah? More than that. It ran for a number of years. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking, I think it was, I feel like it was two years since I we, joined. Since, uh, since we changed to yeah. using D&D rules. So, I joined right as we were switching to D&D rules. I joined about a year and a half late. I ran Darwin for a year and a half. And I wrote, and I ran Dominette for about a year and a half, almost two years. Mm. So we ran for almost four years. Oh. We started uh, not too long after M and W did. Mm. In like the heyday of like everybody and when... their mother having a, uh, a, a wrestling show, and then they started falling off one after another. Lovely. We're still here, ah. bitch! Gotta love that smug Lucius. Also, I see somebody in the chat. I do love the, the wink that he does, and at the same time, there is a flashbang behind him. That's Hashtag Shield Joe! Indeed. Ah, I see Joe showing up. Get love, Nord. Quentin, apparently, before the match, said the fated words, Show me what you got. No. I, okay. I will say the one so. thing about uh, Maelstrom is we've had a, a fuck ton of characters and people come and go. Yes. Some of them were very, yeah. very good. Some of them... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> there, uh, I know there are some that I wanted to stay a lot longer than they did, but I'm happy that they... they they hung out with us for a little bit. Yep. Oh. Well, Lucius, you know what? <laughs> really use that that beautiful three uh, three strength you got there. Well, I will say I do love the fact that I can see Lucius the entire time in this arena. Yeah. Exactly. Just look for the flaming feet. Did I do a backflip? Yes. Yes. You did a backflip into a taunt. Yes. It was funny because. <laughs> Because I'm just looking at his feet, but I just see them go over his head. I'm like, whoop. I didn't even know I had that. You're Excuse just, me. You're you're just on the stage taunting, doing nothing but taunting. That's very Lucius. He, he's past the prompt point. He can no longer return to the arena. That, you just keep talking that smack, Lucius. You keep doing that. Yeah, he's far enough away from the ring and uh, you know, no one <laughs> else will target him. him. Man. <laughs> this is extreme. <laughs> Can't yeah. even be mad about it. It's like, yeah, no, this is exactly what Lucius would do. Just hang back and <laughs> tackle them. Uh, Bob, you may need to bring Lucius back to the ring. No, no, no. I, I was, no, no. I was legit thinking about it, but this is funny. 
Oh yeah, nice. no, it's hilarious. I, 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 I'm saying leave it run for a little bit. However, towards the, somebody gets towards the end of the New match, Grand? bring him back in. Yeah, since he's an opportunistic fuckboy. Yeah. yeah. You just let him do it. There's the backflip, and he's gone further up the ramp. <laughs> I'm just listen. You guys do what you need. Oh no, go straight Pingu. It's a divine beast. So I just keep backing up, Lucius. Keep backing up. Which I will say, the one good interaction Yig has had with Lucius is the whole, oh god, is that what I do to people? Oh, no. Because Yig was drawing maps, and Lucius looked over, because scribbling on paper. Yeah. Oh god, is that what it's like? Oh. Oh, so this is what it's like on the other day. Alright, you know what, that's fair. He's doing the bud kip backflip. He's learned. Alright. He's starting to fuck with the camera a little too hard. No. Let me leave. No, uh, there's ambush waiting in the back for you. I hired the ambush. I, I didn't. They were in a pose off, and Lucius took offense to it. Yeah, how dare you? Don't ever step to me, son. How dare you? That's my stick. I I thoroughly enjoy how fast some of the shit posts happen in uh, in Maelstrom. Oh yes, it is. Light here, and it's gone. Lucius waits the entire match, lets everybody else get hurt. He's completely unharmed. And just wanders in with his free constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Johnson, no! Lucius! Three strength, three con. Everything put three strengths, three con, three intelligence. Everything is put into into uh, charisma. Well done. <laughs> I may I may have uh, some things to say about the intelligence part. Uh huh. Yeah. Wisdom is a different story. <laughs> I yeah. know what I'm doing. I just don't think that there's smart moves. Yeah, you put all your points into Dex, Wisdom, and Charisma. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the three stat wizard. I say wizard. He's a wizard with a sugar daddy. Yes. In this case, quite literal. He's, he's got that Nepo baby money. Hmm. Warlock, am I right? I played a... Uh, Believe it or not, I played a warlock recently. Oh yes? Yes. I didn't do shit the entire game. Meh. But I still came out uh, furthering my goals. That, that's the way to do it. I I played a halfling. And I ah. I had him dressed up like uh like he <laughs> was covered in like rags and like hand me down clothes. Half, most of the people in the game thought he was just a kid. And he uh, didn't, cor didn't correct him. Very good. I was like, though, the camera cut back to just Lucis laid out on the floor. It's like, yeah. Well, JC, I think Lucius is broken. <laughs> he is getting in his calisthenics. Uh, mm. Slide in. Slide out. I think he's doing this just to fuck with people. Yeah. Oh, 100%. This man is not nearly lubricated enough for all the sliding he's doing. Yeah. Ow. My baddest spleens. 
I casted one cantrip that entire game, JC. It was it Eldritch Blast? No, it was Minor Illusion. Ah. Beautiful. And I made it seem like uh, it wasn't me doing it either. Ah, marvelous. I don't know who that guy was. Mm. Easy there, Denny. This is a battle of honor. Come now. Basically, Manda was casting a minor illusion to try to block off a, uh, a hallway. But unfortunately, minor illusion only controls a five foot square. Ah, I see. So I told the DM, you know, it's it's the it's the funniest thing, you know, this spell shouldn't work, but for just some reason it 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 does. Yeah, it is. Strange. And then I clicked minor illusion myself. <laughs> while I was standing behind the behind the part of the entire time. Regis and Beast, your winner, Quentin Martin. Good job, Lucius. Way to, way oh, yeah, to throw people great. off. Good We're job. in the rafter. Good job, cameraman. Whose hair is that? That's the question. I, I think it would be the funniest to let the old man do. He stole my pose. You... You deal with it. Quentin looks like a game warden on like a, yes. a savannah. Oh, 100%. I mean, he is a hunter. Uh, he's got that claim vibe. I love you in Ace Ventura. Keep him away from the rhino. Oh, hey, the other now half. Howler can channel all of his rage towards this boy. Despite all his rage, he is still just a gloop in a cage. Good old melting gold armor. Somebody yeah. gonna get hurt real bad. Yeah. Somebody gonna get hurt real bad. Some nights he wakes up, cashing in his bat luck. Some nights he calls it draw. That is an excellent entrance. It is. He originally wanted Judgment Day's theme, but unfortunately, Judgment Day gets flagged like hell. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, I was thinking about uh, Lucius and Howler in a tag team. Yeah. With uh, doing Banker and the Monster with Lucius as the Banker. Yes, I could see that. With the giant golden phone and Howler yeah. just stumbling after him. I found this cool device. It's like a sending stone, but worse. And it's gold. And it's gold. So I could sell this to an idiot for the extreme amounts of money. When I hit this little button, that looks like it. Someone on the other end is always asking me, what do I want for pizza? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Actually, I did base... Did they have pizza in Rome? Not the pizza that we know, obviously. I suppose it would be more flat, right? I mean, original pizza is literally just oil, nuts, and rosemary. Who put cheese on this pizza? Why would they do this to me? The Americans. 
They always do have just the best ideas. Paul and Kai, I'm doing very well. How about yourself? I can tell you nobody in Sanctuary has. Depends on your definition of pizza. Well, Sanctuary is based off of uh, Arthurian, like, England. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's one character in Sanctuary that is actively trying to have pizza. Gravy? No. Hilariously. Mm. If, I re if I remember before his uh, impromptu break, we will say, Butler was trying to make pizza at one point in time, amongst other things. Yeah, pizza, hamburgers, etc. Yeah. Actually, Butler's back. Yes. Mm -hmm. the before his impromptu break. Mm -hmm. And he is talking to Alexander about... Uh... Post about uh, potions that might work for culinary aspects, which I'll give you credit, dude, but wrong, wrong one of my characters you want to talk to about recipes. <laughs> I mean, I realize we equate baking to alchemy all the time. However, more art than science. Well, yeah. baking is an art. Cooking is a science. Uh, baking is a science. Cooking is an art. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have taunted him. He's going to eat you now. Oh, I uh, didn't expect course, that from Haller. All right. French pastry making is black magic. Yeah. You have to sell your soul. Uh, you sell something, that's for sure. I wonder have what... you seen how persnickety it is to make half the fucking light French pastries? Yeah. No wonder they're all so miserable. What fucking move is this? Angry. He invent- he's so angry, he's starting to invent moves. Color me curious. JC, what kind of food is prominent in, uh, Almy? Let's see, it's a desert climate, so... I'd probably say similar things, uh, to what you might see in, uh, in probably, like, Africa or even towards the Middle East, Asia Minor, kind of that range. Mm -hmm. So the most plentiful, the two most plentiful foods are basically a dessert, which is a leaf with a bunch of toppings that you just pop in your mouth. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because that's pawn. And then the other one would be figs. Also, they're pri they are also primarily, like they're... I suppose they're omnivores, but they probably lean towards a bit more on the carnivore side, since it's mostly lizards and and dragons and turtles. Nice. Surprisingly, a lot of lizards tend to be either insectivores or um, so you probably get some, some fruit or stuff there as well. They're like, here, we found these massive insects. Oh, good. I don't want you. To back. Do you have any idea what Darwin was eating for a good section of last season? Oh, yeah, tr cactus fruit as well. Cactus fruit you want to cook before you eat it for a short list of reasons. Here's a grub the size of a chihuahua. Yeah, enjoy. Put it in your mouth. It's slimy, but it's satisfying. Okay. That was fast. That was fast. That was I had a giant water bug last year that was just in the driveway because we had a festival. I had so many people call me about it, freaking out, because it's this insect that's about six inches long by about three inches wide at its widest part. And it was hilarious because I'd pop out and go, oh yeah, no, that's a giant water bug, it's food. 
What? Yeah, for instance, we have here the lovely, uh, definitely not based off anything, cactus that, uh, that many creatures in, uh, in all of me might consume. Definitely not based off anything. No, no. You should eat one of these beans. That's correct. I should do that. Someone should eat the beans. Is it 3 a.m. already? Yeah. Oh, hey, a triple bet. We have three female wrestlers on our card, and they're all in this Who match. Last. I believe there also should be a fourth coming soon. I don't mm -hmm. know. Good. You finished that yet? I mean, I I always could talk to Lady Kavasha about getting one of her characters ported over to the show. Uh, where is it? Yes. Yeah, For Ella, I, I just wanted to give her the most, like, plain entrance possible. Mm -hmm. No fanfare, nothing. She just walks in. We need oh, to fix her music. music. Yeah. It still works. Get yourself the cool, uh, cool, quenching, delicious taste of Gothness Dark Ale. For your daily goodness, get Gothness, a DAC product. Oh no, drink cactus juice. It's the quenchiest. So, uh, I'm going to post the other one just because JC did that. I grabbed that one by accident because they're all right beside each other. Yeah. What I was going to send was that one. Have you gotten yours? Quenchers. The fruit-filled gummy made with real fruit juice and 16 flavors, including peach, tropical fruit, and prickly pear. A DAC product. There we go. Uh, I don't remember seeing... It's Joe. Uh, Stormtrooper, did you get your trinket yet? Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing? Hello. Hello. Hello, man. Meets the Travis. I got Matrix. Uh, Stormtrooper found a random object such as bones or stones that always come back together when destroyed. Ooh. That's actually kind of cool. Travis, would you vote for Henry Schnapple? Uh, that depends. Um, what is his platform? What is his business? Uh, I think you, above all else, know... You were the first person to meet Henry Schnaffle. You know I, Henry I know. Schnaffle's plan. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know anything. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah uh, based on the interaction, uh, Rumpy would have voted for him. <laughs> Rumpy would have. Would Bogart? Bogart would probably no, run against him. Ah, I see. Now. 100%. Wow. He's competition for, for electorals. Well, you know, uh, I, w I was told the same thing by that uh, that Thorn fellow who, God rest his soul, was tragically eaten in a car accident. Uh, but... He was, he was eaten in a car accident? Did the car right. open his bumpers and eat him? No. Uh, Make of that what you will. I was... <laughs> Yeah, so I was driving my car sharks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the car I had last night uh, had a mouse. Yeah. So. Yeah, see, there you go. You got it. <laughs> oh, poor lad. I'll, I'll tell you what. When Don't Henry worry, he's Schnapple, all right now. <laughs> when Henry Schnapple starts getting into the into the actual trying to get, like, genuinely elected, um, and when Bogart starts doing his campaign, we can both make campaign promos for Maelstrom to see who people vote for. Oh, speaking of, uh, Travis, did you see that there is a game show going on? Uh, no. Of uh, what section is the game show happening? Uh, Arena I see. No, it's oh. Arena I see. Everyone has access to it. Uh, I have not. I could probably join in. Uh, you we'll should. just walk I... in and play music. Yeah, no, you can just you can take a look. I got I got right, an, well, a good idea. I'll take 
you know, like the when they have like a complicated question and they have like music playing, like the the um, like the Who wants to be a millionaire. They have like the the thinking music. I'll play that. They, uh, there is currently music that is uh, playing. I will I'll post it here for you so that way you can see. It. <laughs> uh, I'll play it on bagpipe. It's intimidating. Yeah. There you go. This is what is currently being played. Uh, where is the link? Yeah, there it is. Here you go. This. Oh no, that's well. Okay, I've copied the message link, but that that works the same. The link's all the same. Hey, uh, Ooh. hey, JC. Hi, that's me. How you doing? How do you feel about the dungeon of darkness coming to Alme? Ah, uh, listen. You let me know, and it will arrive. <laughs> we can spin Harvey. I mean, that's pretty much what his he's already been doing. You are. I already had the people saying, "Good answer, good answer." As <laughs> once again, it was. Eh, eh. <laughs> There were so many loud buzzer noises last night. Let's go gambling. Yeah, let's go gambling. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang. For instance, uh, from from Naru alone, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 37 answers from Naru alone, and one of them was correct. Now just multiply that by everybody else who was in that game. Welcome to Squid Games Maelstrom Edition. Mm hmm. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll enter. That sounds fun. <laughs> I, I like you wanna, to think... You wanna gain the power of a sword saint? No. Have I Bogart mean, be a man of the blade? I mean, he's got long arms. And considering what Bogart, I learned about the people Musashi. in the old book... Yeah. I have a cane sword that's a long arm to it to do a long stick. My reach is a hundred, and yours is done. Yeah. Uh, me and Callie did in, uh, use a bugbear to invent what can only be described as dangerous Babe Ruth. Oh Dude. no. You can move someone, what did, what was it Callie, like 60 feet around? I want to say in the end it was like 200, was it 200 feet? Holy heck, what were we thinking? Oh, that's right, because if you did action surge, yeah. Yeah, it was probably something like that. Yeah, so that was pretty fantastic. Ah, uh, yes, as Vegeta said, some of us could not deal with the spin talk. That's coward talk right there. That's right. J JC, I just went into the DMs. I gave you eight answers. Yes. And five of them were extraneous. Yes. But as you said, you also already knew the answer. Yeah. Really? I'm not yes. here for the prize. I'm here for the entertainment. Yeah. So, just just so I understand, how exactly does this work? Okay. So, uh, to to run through what Spin said at the start, uh, which I'd say that there's probably like little uh, little. Uh, major images uh, that were repeating the uh, I just, like I just the rules the and all that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you you will probably see that uh, that is being repeated. And let's see, where is it? Uh, oh God, it's there. it's being done by Sven, the greasiest master of all. It is. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, Sven pulls out a tiny set of glasses and then pulls out a tinier piece of paper. That which is cutting the dull, and you know it is uh, also biting the slow. Sharpness is like big time strength, and swiftness is its cool sexy ally. It pierces the heart, which I feel is probably better than like piercing the spleen or something. Uh, it cleaves the rich and the poor, which, just worth noting, I am definitely very rich. Uh, and that is the riddle. Uh, you basically then you are not allowed to say it out loud. You have to speak it to the uh, the pillar. 
And if you get it right, you get to enter. Currently, uh, there is a set number of slots that will be filled. People do not know the number of slots currently. You cannot answer it out loud, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have, to, I, have to D, I have to DM it to you. You have to DM it to me, yes. <laughs> yes, Callie is to blame for giving Spin unimaginable power. I mean, I feel uh. like you can take a little bit of that blame. Oh, I can definitely take the blame. But Callie put the gun in my hand. Callie put the I... gun down on the table. You decided to pick it up, load it, and point it at people. I did choose the accent, that's right. I ah. based it off of, uh, off of Dimitri from Sly Cooper. Buckshot Perfect. Roulette with JC Doodle. I understand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he just put the gun in his hand. I told him to shoot. That's true. Yeah. See, yeah, Vegeta, you got it quick. Ever, the funny thing is, after people missed out on the first, like, obvious answer, the panic immediately set in, and they just started throwing answers at me. I'm like, okay, sure, I, I guess. One person threw chocolate at me. I'm like, what? I had to give him chaos XP, or chaos inspiration, because, you know what, that's a, that's a pretty great answer. One of my favorite things is that we didn't come up with Sven. No. Sven was a. Uh, I, I I I hate that I'm I'm saying this because it's going to trigger something from Kayef, but it was mm -hmm. an NPC created via one of the uh, benefits of of uh, one of the tiers of the Patreon. Yes. Just like uh, other things. I mean, and there are still others that, uh, please do note, everyone, your NPCs are still out in the world. You just got to find them. Yeah. They have been scattered about. Yeah, there are some you don't want to find. Oh, no. <laughs> like a Jackie Q? You don't want to meet Jackie Q's NPC. Yes. Where did that one end up going? Uh, that one, uh, well, they originally went to Tamaroth. But given that Tamaroth yeah. isn't there anymore, they're in Master yeah, Force somewhere. Ah, that's unfortunate. And your winner, Artemis Belmont. Like, I got an NPC that I... There's an NPC that I am very interested in playing that uh, nobody's come across yet. Well, that's a good question, Travis. Have you entered the actual uh, place yet? You can't answer it if you're not there yet. Oh, Travis. oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I thought I had to secretly tell you. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, you got you got to walk in first, and then you can guess. When I do my right. role play, that will that will be my answer. But I will do the role play part as well. Very good. I will let you know, no change. Oh boy. I mean, it's Kelly, I'm pretty time sure. For everyone's can... favorite team up. Yes. Yeah, the buddy cop comedy of the century. I yeah. find it hilarious that Cause only two wins have been in the tournament to get into the finals and actually to win the belt. Yeah, it is true. And all I can say is that if you idiots do not win this one, I am going to punish everyone on the team. I that don't understand why there was no entrance, but okay. Let's, listen, I skip it people. because I, Chaos God number one, want this to be over and done. Misket, boss, why are you giving me a reason to lose? No. I can't win with him. You want Correct. to be punished. I'm just going through the fucking microphone freeze zone real quick there, so. 
As for Kelly, I'm pretty sure you could, uh, JC could see everyone's thought process behind it. Yes. Especially with the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> that one I had to have explained to me. Uh, the thought process was Valentine's Day, and I had two guesses for high cholesterol. I'm like, huh? What? At least I stayed on theme. Yeah. However, I also had a very limited vocabulary I could work with because yeah. worldly experiences with the character. Yeah. I was watching yours, I was like, mm, I'm not giving you credit until you you get it spot on. And you did. Oh, eventually. Yeah. I, I knew what was going on. I was like, hmm, no. It's like, that's close. Not quite. Yeah. It's close enough that it was technically right, but technically wasn't the good enough that time. Yes. It still would have gotten eaten by the Sphinx. Yes. God, I, I like that I'm playing a very, like, intelligent character, but in real life, I am not, like, a riddle guy. That was the 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 theme of the entire yesterday. All the wizards were the last ones left with the highest intelligence. Oof. Uh, to be fair, I was amongst the wizards. Yes. Well, you're a lizard. Ah. Wait. I stayed wait. thematically because I can't read. Yeah. So just to, just to understand, this is an in-character riddle, correct? Yes. Correct. Okay, so we all ju we just have to answer like we have to send our answers to you, but yes, we can influence the world with our in-character stuff, right? Potentially. Well, there okay. were attempts at that last night. They there no, were a see. few people that that attempted to use intelligence checks to get clues. They were rewarded with clues until uh, they until I reached the yeah. end. I was like, all right, I can't make this any more obvious for you guys. I'm really bad at this stuff, so I'm pretty obvious, but that doesn't mean that I'm done. JC, you've already seen my chaos with, with a character that doesn't have any smarts to him. Let's see what I can do yeah. with Bogart. I am deeply terrified. Rest in peace, Rumpy. Right I'll, oh, yeah. Shot out of a cannon. It's now cannon. Yes. You have to excuse me, my child will cut my rib. Ah, yes. Oh, you were saying, Bob? I said, rest in peace, Rumpy. Ah. Yes, rest in peace, Rumpy. May flights of Valkyries sing thee to thy rest. You, not only was you he the did first... not do as Chaos God wanted you to the very end. Not only did he uh, was he the first to die, he was the first to die via a ninth level spell. Yeah. Wow, he got he got two acclades right off the bat. Exactly. Actually, three. He was oh. the first to be killed by a god. Oh, Perfect. also, Bob, did you happen to see uh, Franz's trip? In, uh, Franz's trip into the Feywild. I haven't. I need to. I need to read a lot of roleplay. Yes, there I is, did. I there did is just see so much the. Uh, I did see the Kerban, uh, the Kerban wind inspiration. Yes, very I thought that trippy. was very fun. Very yes. trippy. Very fascinating. Well, I'm that beginning is a to think. Creature that's... from the uh, the Tome of Beasts three. Uh, I'm beginning to think that I'm legally just not allowed to interact with you in the maelstrom there, JC. <laughs> Listen, hey, you can pop, you uh, can pop into anywhere that you like. Yeah, you see, that's a lie. <laughs> you know, Kayas, if if you really want, I can make it so that you somehow end up in Alme. Oh no. I mean, there's only one problem with that, and that is you've given Yig goals and Mastafor yes. now. Uh -huh. As He's soon as those back. bandits are gone, though, look out, JC. Ah, oh, very good. I look forward to it. You can come help Zator, so that way he's not alone and having to rely on the NPCs he's hired. Funny the amount of people there that have to rely on NPCs. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm pushing... I'm pushing people <laughs> at each other, but they're still I grouping up with NPCs. It is hilarious. This is what you get for making people too charming. I mean, you can also give the NPCs a reason to leave. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why, Callie. I wonder why the NPCs don't want to hang around Miska. I do. They keep coming back and finding the NPCs. <laughs> Leave. 
Get out of here. Oh, on to the hammer. Oh, owie. Which, I mean, to a certain degree, I can understand why some characters are more alone. Like, Yig is designed to basically shuttle people places. He is meant to be on his own 90% of the time. So what's the team breakdown? Uh, we have uh, Law and Disorder is what? Pure Chaos? Pure yes. Chaos, yes. Surgical Precision is Order and Balance. Rising yeah. Sun is what? Balance, balance. Uh, just straight balance, yeah. Mm. So we got a two out of three chance that someone will lose their uh, their bonus picks. Yeah. Not only lose their bonus pick, but if here's the thing, if chaos or balance take the belts, they take both match choices. That's true. JC, can I ask a question? Is Sven in the arena right now? Can I physically see him? Uh, Sven is, so, uh, do you see at the, the top of the thread? I believe yeah, I... Yeah, I just wanted to... Yeah, oh, so okay. he is, look at that. yeah. So, yeah, top of the thread here. Oh. oh yeah, I just didn't, oh. I didn't, I just didn't know if that had changed between that beginning of that and currently. No, currently still the same. You, I would also note... Uh, the room that you guys are in doesn't seem to be the arena. You walk through a door and you are in a desert. One that might look familiar to Travis. Mm. Not so to uh, not so yep. to Bogo. Uh, JC. Yeah, that's me. Hi. Would you like for me to send you the translation of the title that you gave? Uh... Sven last night. Sure, yeah. Give me a second, I need to find it's it. It's not so flattering. They, no. they never are. They never are. Yig swears a lot when he can get away with it. And he can usually get away with it. Ah, Vix, you almost had it. Come on, Vix. Come to daddy. Solomon's just dead. <laughs> and we still keep going, what? What? <laughs> He's doing the the, <laughs> the the fake out fun. Didn't fake him out that time. Mm -hmm. They don't see it coming after the 16th fake out. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, my nose. Oh, no. <laughs> Trap Sullivan. Can't leave. I mean, there's still two balance members in this match. That's so intensely funny. So in my canon, those two are just brawling in the corner. They don't give a fuck about the match. They're just brawling with each other. Sorry, JC. I'm editing currently. I had to bumble through that post a bit. Yeah, no, my grammar was there. And, and Bob, to be honest with you, all, all cause doing is just he's just trying to survive, man. I wasn't expecting to win any title shot. The fact that I have a belt is a miracle on my own. <laughs> this is absolutely a Solomon and Miska thing to do. Let them let them fight it out. A grandpa versus a thing. I'm not even sure what to describe Miska as. Like it's just it's just a, it's like a yeti, a yeti that hates people. Horrible fiend, please. So 
Solomon got yeah. an interesting item uh, recently called the Mirror of Foe. When you look in the mirror, you see your enemy's face. Oh. Honestly, when you said pho, I had food on the brain, so I thought it was like a mirror where you can find like delicious pho restaurants just anywhere in the world. There you go, JC. And ah. I, I, I told uh, Vegeta last night, you're not using it as a scrying focus. You're not going to be able to see where uh, where Miska or uh, Miska is at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, the background is where you Just shows you, you who you hate. Yeah, it's like, it's you looking in the mirror, but instead of instead of uh, you, it's the your enemy. Miska is absolutely winking uh, in that mirror. The ultimate sass of this demon. Did Miska just do a 360 uh, step shot on Solomon? He would. Man, Tariel playing some D right now. Well, now he's about to get from. Oh, he reversed it. Good job. Oh, balance on balance violence. You hate to see it happen. <laughs> Tariel and Bix were both attacking Kyle for some reason. And they're on the same side. Travis, so uh, do keep in mind that the uh, the game show, in the interest of entertaining the audience, will be broadcasting thoughts now and then. The game show will never target Gig <laughs> The game show doesn't know what to do with him. He just kind of wandered in and gave the right answer and kept going. Yeah, like, okay. that's That's the current... Dang, this is just the filter. This is the qualifier to get into the, uh, into the game show. You can't solve the riddle. You don't get to master the sword. I'm curious if I I want to see like the game show focus in on somebody and it's just a rubber hose cartoon dancing. <laughs> and we have blood. We had uh, it focus in on. Uh, the camera focused on Franz and it described him as Frank, professional blood donator, age 27. I mean, logistically, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's the best type of not wrong to be. Hey, see, I wasn't, I wasn't not wrong last night and you didn't give it to me. Bother, bother, tease, tease. I like that uh. Solomon and Miska are constantly going after each other. Oh yeah, no. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, Rosso, before you left, you said something of, uh, was Bob paying attention to the Vismine campaign? Mm-hmm. Where were you going with that? Uh, just the fact that, you know, in the campaign, you've got one character that's large and the other three all small. Yes. I like Bogart saying, oh, can you solve my riddle before I solve yours? Uh, okay. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, son, that's not how this works. <laughs> Spin's just like, I guess, sure. Am I getting paid for this? I, I don't know. <laughs> I can hurt the thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. No uh, I do very much enjoy that, uh, most of Sven's money comes from psychological torture from Miska. Yes. 
Sven will give you a greasy sweet answer to your to your riddle. Yeah. It won't. Who knows if it'll be right? Who knows if it'll be wrong? But it will be greasy sweet, baby. And your winners, Surgical no. Precision. How? <laughs> Tap out. I, I, yes, I, that was more uh, a question of why God, why? Uh, quite literally, why God, why was Solomon See, tapped out? <coughs> this is what's happening. It's the reverse curse. I was so bad that now we are so good as teamwork. So never separate us. I am never going to leave his side. We are glued to the hip. Yeah. Well, this is truly a dark day. That's two wins. Three remain before solidarity is claimed fully. Well, the first win is to get the belts. You have to defend ah, yeah. five times. So, four more wins. Yeah. Miska calling out God of Chaos. I would officially, I would to officially blame Solomon for that one, and how he made me feel unspeakable bloodlust. Isn't that you Miska's know, usual that's, state of being? That's fair. I I kind of feel the same thing right now. Unspeakable These bloodlust. These morons. Yeah, a little bit. Ah uh, yes, unspeakable bloodlust. Right. Yes, bloodlust. That's right. Could be I worse. Right I mean, you could. You could be talking to Corvix with uh, with the blue eyes right now. He's mm. creepy as fuck. When he's got the I blue mean, eyes, I, he's I, got I needle teeth. Ping them more. Ooh, the Maybe. penguin and Corvix need to have an interesting conversation. Hmm. Hmm. Time to, uh... Solomon, you've let me down. Did he? Oh, yeah. Or did he keep... Or did he ensure that, uh... Here's the thing. Did Solomon truly fail, or did he ensure that Balance kept a match pick? Yeah. I, that, still let, that still lets me down. I don't... I, I want everyone to... He's not on your team. He doesn't give a shit. Exactly. So I will eat him. I have never spun around that hard when I've heard that dog squeaky toy, and I don't know where the fuck it came from. All right, Bogard, what's your second guess? Let's see if he can get it in three. Ah, I found the one who gave you cholesterol. Yeah. There were two. There were two that gave me cholesterol. I mean, you really should watch your cholesterol, JC. Uh, apparently. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this week's Maelstrom. All right. So, friends, compatriots, compeers, does anybody have anything that they would like to say? Well, I grab Rosso his, uh, grab a, grab a bag for the day. Yes, this entire show is brought to you by Bogard Ramshield, Bogard Ramshield, future and currently best elected person that's going to be being the mayor 
of Terrace Phyllis. One day, not now, but one day, if you're looking for hope and you're not looking to end up on the bad side of a rope, pick out Bogard Ramshield as your next mayoral elective. Don't pick any schnapples there because the only information under layer lids is false and deceived. Bogart is for victories and achieves. Bogart Ramshield. A vote for him is a vote for victory. Also, by the way, good, good luck making yourself the mayor of a military uh, complex. Yeah. You don't. You underestimate my power of talkings. I Actually, know no, you that, don't. That was pretty convincing to me. I feel like if I wasn't running, I'd sure vote for the guy. Man, what a <laughs> what a fine sorry. lad. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to be mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now you've fallen for the schnapple gambit. Making you feel immediately bad. Man, by he's so nice. I want to vote for him now. Tonight's show is brought to you in part by the number one energy drink and meal replacement, Dragon Sweets, and over a thousand flavors from Gondorian Ruby to Sweet Iced Tea. It's sure to satisfy a DAC product. And from the Murder Cave, the Battle Buddy Body Bag of Holding. That's right, the Battle Buddy Body Bag of Holding. Put your Battle Buddy into the Battle Buddy Body Bag of Holding and then yeet that bitch at your enemies to make sure that your enemies no longer bother you. And then take your enemies and put them, put the body into the battle buddy body bag of, bag of holding. A murder Horrible. cake product. JC, can you read that one for me? Uh, which one? The one that just went through. Ah, but you see, I, I don't have the Twitch stream pulled up, so I, I'm afraid I can't. Oh well. I mean, I can post it right to oh, you. Oh no, but... I, would you look at that? Oh, my, my internet's disconnecting. Bye everyone! <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going, to, I'm tempted to post that for tomorrow. Uh, Do it. And, and make Caliban deal with it. By all means. Get yourself the new Bigger Better ba Buddy Battle Body Box bunk Bumpers. That's right. The Bigger Better Battle Buddy Body Box Bumpers. Make your Battle Buddy Body Box more versatile with bumpers. The easiest way to bunk belligerent burglars and bolster your, bu your Buddy Battle Body Box collection. Two, six, ten guaranteed ounces with bigger, better buddy battle body box bumpers. Clear the field with tactical su supremacy. A DAC branded augment for the Murder Cave exclusive. Uh... You can only blame yourself for that one, Bob. Oh, absolutely. I can blame myself. Are you going to? No, it's going to be me. You know what? I know, I know, I know who I'm going to raid. I'm going to raid Caliban, and I'm going to immediately post this into his chat. Beautiful. And creatures and beasts, concepts and constructs, thank you everyone for joining us on the Maelstrom today. I want to take a minute to thank every single one of y'all for coming in, hanging out, having fun. Y'all have yourselves a good rest of your evening. I gotta get ready for DNC. Uh, DNC. I gotta get ready for D&D and cool off because I had to turn off my AC earlier and I'm getting uh, overheated. So I shall drop off. Have a good one, y'all. And I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night.